Look how big this sunflower stalk is. So because sunflower stalks are safe for rabbits and hamsters, we are going to be, sorry Zadie, we are going to be trying them out with the hamsters and rabbits. This is like Gandalf with this thing. Let's get to cutting. Damn, they flew. <laughs> you don't want any more? So as you can see, Cleo is not picky at all when it comes to foods. Unlike Lola, Lola tried a little bite of this. Um, she just takes a, li a little bit longer to get into a food. Also a little update on their dig box. It currently is out of order until I can fix it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. There's a giant crack in it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably did see that I had a giant mess to clean up. So I've pushed all of the shavings to the side and uh, moved to the castle back so Cleo can't jump in because I need to figure out a solution. What's this? <laughs> I'm gonna try it. No. <laughs> she just wants to come out instead. Hey? You would much rather come out and play. Okay. Next up, we have Waddles. Let's see. Will you like this? Oh. Oh, the little grabby. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Wait, wait. What are you gonna do with it? You're too small. No, no, you can do with it. It's, maybe it's a little too big. Maybe I should um, cut it up for you. <laughs> it's kind of the same size as your body. Last but not least, we have Mr. Dipper. Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> That reaction. Do you like it or no? I want to say he likes it. is holding this. Why are you? Oh gosh, you're so cute. Oh, that's enough? That's enough out of that. And here's what is left of the pieces that I gave to the rabbits. So they really liked it. This is what it's like having rabbits. Um, they are 
quite literally like toddlers. Um, I switched out Lola and Cleo's litter boxes because I wanted to try something different. Cleo had other ideas. <laughs> Did you think that they were dig boxes? Because because they weren't, so. Like all the way over here. So I got one of these cat treats as a sample in a package I ordered. Um, I've never tried them before, so I'm going to see how the cats like it. Let's see. What do you think? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, Sadie, don't get this on my bed. You get half. <laughs> oh, oh. Do you want some? Here, hang on. Yeah, just sweet. Just sweet, yeah. Oh, you got it on your nose. <laughs> you you're getting being so messy. <laughs> Lick this side for me. Okay, whoa, don't eat the whole freaking package. JJ, JJ. You're getting it absolutely everywhere. You're a mess, guy. So I have not been really happy with the way Dipper's enclosure is set up. I much prefer the way Mabel's is. So I want to see if I can create something a little bit better. Dipper is currently free roaming in the bathroom. So I have tons of time to switch up his cage. So let's get started. his chamber height in that corner because that is where he really likes to sleep. I think I'm going to put the substrates in these dishes.
So the last thing I have to do tonight is just clean out Mabel's pee area. Mabel! <laughs> Mabelaine! What are you doing? Come here. So I'm going to put her in the free roaming area and then we're going to clean this out. So Mabel just pees all around long here and this is, this is where she sleeps. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't give her that. I can throw the whole thing away. It's so stinky. You don't even know. Here's a brand new one. She's gonna pee in it, but oh well. So we are gonna end it off with Waddles here doing some burrowing. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.